Hey there. Just found another cool channel. First off, uh, congratulations, Kryptonian guy, on your uh, job promotion. Kudos on that, and uh, really awesome. And uh, this is my contest entry. It's my uh, video contest entry. So here goes you one of the top character in any genre, and my top five movies. Now my top five in this horror, in the horror genre, changes on a daily basis. I'm a huge horror fan. I want to pick uh, five different movies. Uh, I don't know if I'd really pick five different movies that uh, a lot of people have probably have already picked. But anyway, the five that I like. Here goes. My favorite character in a horror movie. I'm going to leave that on second, actually. Even though it was the first question you asked. If you don't mind, I'm going to switch the questions right around a bit. And uh, so, my top five horror movies. Five. Well, these are five that I really like. And I would definitely put them in the tops. Uh, though, uh, place the switches around a bit a lot. And that's the first one up is Halloween. Halloween is a classic. The original 1978 version, of course, by John Carpenter. Uh, I just love the way the film is done. The cinematography, the music was amazing. The music makes the movie Halloween. Uh, even though, uh, we, when you listen to it now, some of it seems like the music track may have been slightly lifted from, uh, some of the uh, j earlier jellos, but uh, it's just some really cool stuff. Uh, John Carpenter did an amazing job. This is a great edition of it, by the way, with the 87-minute uh, documentary, and uh, I'm loving it. Next one probably on a lot of people's list, uh, as was the first one there, and that will be A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original 1984 classic, with Robert England as a Freddy Krueger and Heather Langenkamp as, of course, Nancy. I love this film. Uh, yes, the uh, sequels would be the death kneel for, of horror for a uh, for a while, especially when they got into Freddy's Nightmares and doing board games and stuff like that, but a uh, Nightmare on Elm Street classic film, love it. I couldn't choose between which one of the three in this trilogy that I wanted to pick, so I finally went with the one that was closest on hand at the time, and one, uh, I really love this, these films anyway. I'm a Fulci fan, and uh, I know The Beyond is a lot of people's favorites, and uh, some people like Hesperate Cemetery, but I decided to choose the first one, City of the Living Dead. In the uh, George Romero classic, Night of the Living Dead, the, the tagline was uh, basically, uh, when there's no room left in hell, the dead shall, dead shall walk the earth. Well, this movie is a, is a better summary of that uh, statement, because this pretty much really is, when there's no more room left in hell, the dead, dead shall walk the earth. Uh, City of the Living Dead is an incredible film. This is the underground release. I also have the uh, Aerodrome release. And I have the uh, Whole Gates Hell trilogy. This is one of my favorites. I uh, love this film. Uh, Sergio Salavetti did the uh, cinematography on this one. Great, great film. Next up is a favorite of mine. Not sure. Uh, it's a trippy film. And it's a very different film. It's horror. It's science fiction. It's just really whacked out, strange. I have its own. Has its own type of world film. And I'm a really big fan of the franchise. I wish they'd do something new. I really do. And that is Phantasm. Don Coscarelli's Phantasm, an incredible film. Recently, Don Coscarelli's got noticed for doing a John Dies at the End. And I'm gr it's great. I'm glad that he's got more uh, mainstream notice. Phantasm, for me, is the is the epitome of the classic Don Coscarelli film. Yeah, the guy did Beastmaster, did a bunch of other stuff, but Phantasm is an amazing film, a fantastic horror film. Uh, there is a documentary, a full-length one, actually, on one, on one set, uh, called Phantasmagoria. There's a 30-minute... Uh, uh, basically excerpt from that documentary on here. And if you can get a chance to see the Phantasmagoria documentary, I strongly and highly recommend it. It's really good. If you haven't gave the Phantasm films a chance, I recommend that you do so. Uh, great, great stuff. Number five is my, one of my favorite werewolf movies of all time. And I... Yeah, though some of the sequels are pretty freaky and crappy, but uh, I like them for what they were. But the classic Howling cannot be beat. I love this film. I love the cast. I love the directing. I love the the, uh, the makeup effects. This is just an incredible film. D. Wallace Stone is amazing in this with her husband Christopher Stone. Pat, we got Patrick O'Neill. We've got John Carradine, Lynn Pickens, Kevin McCarthy, Elizabeth Brooks, Blenda Blasky. It is. And of course, we have uh, the guy that will play the doctor on uh, Star Trek later on. <laughs> it's just one really, really packed cast with one really great film, very tightly done, very well done. This is, my, those are my picks for top five. As for my favorite horror character of all time, I want, wanted to pick somebody that's a little bit different and somebody that I uh, really think, uh, some people may not consider this a complete horror movie, but 
it's definitely suspense. I would definitely consider it a horror movie, and it, I know it scared my dad when he was younger, and uh, it, it scared me too. It uh, may seem tame by today's standards, but it's a very, very well done movie, and it's a very, the role that this character is incredible. And that's uh, fake preacher Harry Powell, from, played by Robert Mitchum in The Night of the Hunter. This would be uh, the only film, sadly, directed by Christopher Lawton, the famed actor who played the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And uh, Harry Powell is evil personified. He's there to get the money. He doesn't care what he has to do to get it. He'll go through people. He'll kill women. He'll kill children. He'll do whatever he has to do. And Robert Mitchum plays the role pitch perfect. It's chilling. Uh, I was up in the middle between this one and Kate Fear, but no, Harry Powell is definitely the character that uh, just an extremely cool creepy. He doesn't have to do a lot to scare you. He doesn't have to do a lot. He doesn't have. He doesn't have to Anthony Hopkins it up and make it all uh, overly, you know. Just there's no. That's the right words. He doesn't have to do. He doesn't have to go overboard. He just has to be there. Just a look, just a movement, just a, t a little story, just the way he moves his hands, the way he reacts. It's a slow build of, ang of psychotic anger that's in this guy. And it's an incredible film. I mean, Night of the Hunter is one of the most amazing films. And this character, Harry Powell, is definitely my pick for the top horror character of, the, of my pick, anyway. So, my favorite horror character, Harry Powell, Night of the Hunter. Top five horror movies, at least right now and this week. The Howling. Don Cascarelli's the Fant uh, movie Phantasm. Lucio Fulci's City of the Living Dead. Wes Craven's A New Nightmare. Oh, sorry, not A New Nightmare. I thought that was a good film. A Nightmare on Elm Street. And the original classic John Carpenter film, Halloween. Those are some that creep me out. This is one of my favorite horror characters of all time. Thanks a lot for the... I'm going to looking forward to watching some more of your videos right now. I see there's an X-Men unboxing. That looks like a really cool version of, uh, of the X-Men film. I, I haven't seen it before, so that's my next video I'm going to watch. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, it's my content century. My name is Aaron. I just subbed to your channel, and uh, it's a great one. Hope to see, hope to see you soon, and uh, good luck to the contest. Good luck with the new, with the new job uh, promotion, and uh, for me, anybody that watches my channel knows what time it is right now. It's time for tea.